Hi guys, welcome to Cool Chemist once again. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple experiment that involves color change. And at the end of this experiment, we're going to be learning something about iron. So this experiment has two parts, the first of which involves the color change. So for this first part, we're going to be needing 5 ml of ammonium iron sulfate solution and some potassium hexacyanoferrate solution. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take some of the potassium hexacyanoferrate solution using a dropper. And we're going to add it to the ammonium iron sulfate solution. So there you go. As you can see, um, the solution has now turned into to a blue color. Um, this blue is known as the Prussian blue um, because of the fact that this color was first found um, in a European area called Prussia. So we're now going to add a little bit more of the Prussian sign of it. Now as you can see the blue is more clear. So that's it, there we go. Um, the color change is over. So that was the first part of the experiment. So then what we observed in the um, first part of the experiment is that um, when ammonium iron sulfate and potassium exercise ferret react with each other, um, they form a product of uh, iron exercise ferret which is in the color of blue. So we're going to carry out the second part of the experiment now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add some iron filings which I have here to some potassium hexacyan ferret solution which was the solution that we used in the previous part. So, I will actually tell you why we're doing this after um, the reaction takes place. adding the iron filings. So, as you can see, the iron has sinks to the bottom and there is no reaction. So then, this shows us that potassium the hexacyan of iron um, only reacts with dissolved iron um, just like many other reagents. So, by dissolved iron, I mean that not iron as a single element, but as part of a compound. For example, in the previous egg compound, we used ammonium iron sulfate, where iron was part of a bigger compound. So, that's 